You're looking at the control panel, which is this unit here. This is a vacuum form part that I just uh, did uh, a couple nights ago. I've been working on the mold, and this is the uh, result. Eventually, this is going to get the full body, which will be referenced from this geometry here. This is uh, kind of the uh, beginning of the uh, edge of the canopy that uh, wraps all the way around the trike. This is the mold, and I did this uh, quickly by hand. Could have done this on the computer, generated a 3D image, and just let uh, the CNC machine do the rest of it. But I decided to do this by hand because I do it a lot faster by hand for the first uh, prototype. So that was done that way. The uh, base here, or this tower that supports the control panel, is this block right here. And I even generated a profile, which is this uh, part right here. It's a profile of the front of the canopy. If we were to put that right up against that, you, you can see how that becomes a more three-dimensional part. And from here I'm going to build my canopy uh, geometry. I also have this paper mock-up just to get a, an idea how wide the canopy would be. So that would be the base and this would be the canopy. It's a very uh, close approximation to what uh, I can expect you know, if I use these patterns as my uh, uh, base for the uh, rest of the geometry. So this would wrap up around right here, like so. The windshield starts right about there where this connection is made. There's an opening here um, before the windshield gets installed. And so that would be the canopy, at least a good portion of that. I plan on making this in uh, sections. One would be the canopy, two would be this uh, middle section, and then the three would be the, uh, the back end here. And there's even going to be a fourth, which is going to be the cover for the top end. Typically, this is how I do. I generate the uh, paper patterns first. You know, it's just to uh, get an idea, you know, how things are going to uh, lay out and, and flow. And then from there, I start generating a real uh, wood patterns that actually become the uh, the plug, you know, for the vacuum forming uh, uh, plastic parts. The section here at the back is going to have this geometry here. Actually, this is supposed to be inside here like that. So this is part of the radiator, actually, this section here, this, uh, this angle here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a, also a wood plug, and then I'll vacuum form that, that section here. I was originally planning on doing this in aluminum, just a, a, just a one sheet, but I, I decided to mold it because I, I really don't need the aluminum here. And uh, the ESC that I'm using has a heat sink, and so that takes care of itself. That it just needs to be mounted somewhere. front view the servos have been already installed and the way I'm doing the servos is I'm going directly uh, with the same clips that I use for mounting in similar ways to the ultralights that I sell I did it the same way here, but uh, it looks really cool here because this is um, kind of mimicking the uh, the sides of the engine. You know, the real thing, you have a, a real engine there, obviously, because it's a, it's a gas-powered um, um, uh, engine. But because this is an electric one, uh, I mounted the, uh, the servos here to mimic that and also provide me a direct link to the control system which is attached to the to the wing 
uh, very positive, very direct, and uh, and this is one way to do it. The other way that I mentioned uh, in an earlier video is that uh, I can also mount the control directly on the pilot, like I did with my um, robotic pilot uh, 1.5 RC uh, microlight that I show in videos I did uh, years back. That would be the other way to do it. For now, you know, I'm just going with the direct links direct to the servos here, and that's uh, that's fine. That'll work uh, just fine that way. It's very similar to the way I do the EZ 1.25, and I've been doing very similar setups here with the auto gyros. It's the same direct DC control to the yoke, which is over the universal joint, which pivots, you know, the rotor head on an auto gyro. Real auto gyros employ the same linkages to the secondary linkages that actually get directed to the front of the pilot control stick. So it's very similar to the way real weight shift is done on a real auto gyro that it's been employed here, except that we're using, for pilot muscle, we're using the, uh, the servos. You know, it's very common sense logic when you think of it uh, that way. I did uh, weight shift uh, control uh, helicopters back in the 80s when I started to experiment with uh, free flight electric uh, helicopters, and I didn't want to employ the complexity of a swash plate and, and all the mechanics that are typically associated with radio control helicopters. So back in the day when I started um, experimenting with radio control helicopters and before I sold you know real kits real helicopter kits I had a uh, weight shift control on my early uh, prototypes and so uh, this is coming from the same idea you know of controlling the uh, you're basically controlling whatever's mounted at the top in this case the wing is your lifting surface uh, no different than on a rotary aircraft you have the, the rotor which becomes your lifting surface basically and all you're doing is pivoting um, uh, the weight of the whatever's underneath it, and, you know, in this case the trike, well, that's basically weight shift control, very, very simplistically uh, put. These pilots have heads that move according to the uh, how they're combined or mixed with the uh, radio channels. This will probably be on, it, on their own separate channel with some kind of a mixing uh, program embedded into the transmitter to affect the pilots moving their heads. Uh, very similar to the, the stuff that I've already shown uh, on many, many videos, you know, showing the 1.25 and including the uh, MIA Quicksilver Ultralight and, uh, and other models, uh, even land yachts that I show in some, uh, some of my videos. So once again, this is Mario with me on Flight. Stay tuned for more.